Hi, this is Ray Panetta once again. Today, I'm going to show you a closer look at how to play Wildflowers by Tom Petty. Let's get into it, shall we? Okay, let's, let's slow it down and uh, figure out um, every move. So I've got an F9 right here, which is just the um, F with this uh, flattened um, barred uh, the E string and the B string. And then um, the middle finger is on the second fret of the G string. And the ring finger is on the third fret of the D string. So that's the F major. If you put this G note right here, that becomes the ninth of the F, so this is an F9. You see there's F9, there's F. So what I'm trying to do right here is um, hammer on the G string. You see, you see how that sound? That's pretty much the whole song. Learn how to hammer. You see how I'm only moving these two fingers right here. And then it also goes to G with those two fingers. But on G, make sure you, you don't play that uh, C note. So, the movement here is you hammer with your middle finger. Land on the C and then go to the G. Open that B string. You don't want that. It's got to be open. So, Ad lib between the verses goes like this F major 7, G4, A minor, D, back to G major. So I'm counting it like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's F major seven. E open. B1, G2, D3. Of course, I'm referring to the strings of the guitar, which is E, B, G, D. And the number would be the fret number. So F, open, I mean the E, open, B is one, G is two, these three. So this is F seven, major seven. And the next chord would be G four. Why do you call it four? Is because when you start here with a G, one, two, three, four. So that's G four. Some people will call it G11 because 
it will be from the octave, which was 8, 9, 10, 11. So no matter what you call it, G4 or G11, it's, it's fine with me. So, A minor, D, back to G major. So here's an alternative to um, the ad lib. You go um, on um, the F major 7, and then this is a uh, uh, pretty interesting chord right here. That's a C without this bass right here, but I'm using the E, which is the uh, D string second fret with my middle finger. So it's a C with a E bass. So see how I uh, move my fingers there? And then go to the A minor. And the next chord is D7 with this F bass, F sharp bass. My thumb is on the um, second fret of the E string. And it's also touching the A string, which is kind of sort of like the pur with the purpose of deadening the A bass. Here it goes. As an alternative to this, 